Welcome back savages to another video. In this video we're going to be feeding this Nerd Miner 2 some steroids. So it's been mining very well on its current firmware but the rumour is there's some new firmware out which increases the hash rate. So let's go and give it a try. So the next thing you're going to do is connect your Nerd Miner 2 to a USB-C to USB-A cable to your computer. The next thing to do is to go to this website which is flasher.bitronics.store I'll leave a link in the description so you can just copy and paste it. So once you're on this page you need to scroll down to the section which says flash your board. On there there'll be a drop down list, pick the board that you've got hosting the Nerdminer software. In our case it's the top one which is the original board T-Display S3 and you'll notice the version of the Nerdminer V2 software is now 1.6.3 so we're going to click on that click on flash then you need to pick the serial port or com port it's connected to in our case it's this com9 paired you click on connect and i'm going to quickly scroll down and it should hopefully write the firmware to the board and then once it's done you'll get a message just saying successfully flashed known minor v2 1.6.3 original board t display s3 so here we are moment of truth I've got the Nerdminer V2 stuck back in its original position, USB-C cable on standby, so we're just going to go ahead and push this in. It's got a slightly different splash screen, so that looks pretty cool. So the main screen is loaded up right now, it'll be connecting to Wi-Fi and hopefully start mining soon. And there we go. We're now on version 1.6.3 of the Nerdminer V2 software and we're getting a hash rate of about 75 to 78 kilohash a second. So there you go savages, what are you waiting for? Get your Nerdminers updated to the latest version of the Nerdminer 2 software which is 1.6.3 and enjoy 75 kilohash a second and increase your chances of winning that block. So there you go savages, hope you like this video, I'll leave links in the description to where to get this software from and also where you can buy the Nerd Miner too. If you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below, otherwise thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.